Hello, Math Rockstars. Welcome back for another day of Number Corner. This is Miss and Ferreira. Hope everybody is having a wonderful week so far. Uh, yesterday, I left you with a couple math questions to try to solve. One of the questions I asked were to try to figure out how many days are left in the month of March. And I said to create a subtraction problem, or you could even do a missing add end problem. So if we look here, there are 31 days in March. So if I'm doing a subtraction problem, I'm gonna start with the largest number, 31. I'm gonna put a minus sign here. And so far we've had 25 days in March. So I'm going to subtract 25 and put an equal sign. Now with this calendar, it's really easy to figure it out because we have 25 cards already flipped over. So all we have to do now is count how many are left that are not flipped over. So we can start with the calendar marker for today, the 26, and let's count the ones that are left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our subtraction problem to figure out how many days are left in the month, it would say 31 minus 25 equals six. If you were to do a missing add end problem, we can start with 25 days so far in the month and put a plus sign. But we have a missing number here. We're trying to figure out 25 plus how many more days will equal 31 in all. So we can count up. We have 25 and we can count up until we get to 31. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So let's see how many we counted up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the missing add end is six. 25 plus six equals 31. So if you came up with those problems with your parents, make sure you wash your hands before you kiss your brains. Good job, boys and girls. All right, so let's make some predictions now on what will be appearing on today's calendar marker. Today is Thursday. Yesterday for Wednesday, we had a digital clock. So take a good look at the type of clocks we have in the pattern so you can predict what will be on today's card. Try to figure out the color and also what time it shows. I'm gonna go back here to our document that we use to keep track. Uh, I've gone over this each session with you guys. So please uh, use the 30 seconds to try to turn and talk and discuss with your parents the pattern and what you think is going to appear today. 30 seconds starting now. All right, boys and girls, time is up. All right, let's take a look at our calendar. Today is Thursday, March the 26th, 2020. And if you notice the pattern, analog, 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 digital. If we go down here, we can see we just ended with a digital, so the pattern must be starting over again. It should be an analog clock. Look back at the pattern. The beginning of each analog clock pattern begins with a red clock. So I'm going to zoom this in so we can get a better look at today's clock. Let's flip this card over. And we do have a red analog clock. Let me zoom it in a little bit more so that way you can get a better look at the time on the clock. If you can see here, that hour hand if I continue the line, an imaginary line, it points between the four and the five. Now, boys and girls, if you remember, it's not quite pointing to that five yet, so we cannot say five. So it is 4.30 when that minute hand is pointing to the six. I can use my analog clock over here to show you. Yesterday, it's still pointing to four o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to the four. The minute hand is pointing to the 12. We're gonna go around the clock until it matches 
the analog clock shown for today. We're going to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, boys and girls, I'm trying to get this perfect for you guys. All right, so my clock here matches the clock on the calendar. This hour hand, as I said, it's pointing between the four and the five. It's not touching the five yet. So that's why we have to say 430. 30 minutes have gone by. So if you predicted correctly the type of clock, the color of the clock, and the time of clock, that the time that's on the clock, please kiss your brains. All right, so I am going to update our chart here. Today is the... 26. We have an analog clock because the pattern is starting all over again. And the time shows 430. If you notice here for the amount of time that went by, this pattern starting over again. 30, 30, 60. So we're starting again. 30 minutes went by. And 30 minutes is equal to half of an hour because it went the minute hand went around the clock halfway half hour and what I'm going to do again like yesterday I'm going to change the color of it so it matches and we can visualize and see that would help if I highlighted the whole thing there we can see the pattern a little bit better here when I have it with the different colors here so analog since the word is analog I'm changing it to green all right boys and girls I'm going to zoom out here and now it's time for our days in school, counting the days in school. Let's point to this chart and say 100. Good job, boys and girls. Let's go to the next chart here. We're going to count up by tens from 100. 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126. So today, it's already on blue for me. I'm putting another X after 126 comes the number 127. All right, I'm going to go to the next screen here because we have to update this. The one represents one group of 100. The two represents the two 10 rods that we have, two groups of 10. The six represented the six ones left over. But now I have to put another green one here. So I want you to do a quick little turn and talk with your parents and tell them which number I need to erase and change. All right, boys and girls, do we still have one group of 100? Yes, we do, good job. Do we still have two groups of 10 here? Yes, we do, but do we still have six ones left over? No, we don't. So if you told your parents that I need to erase the six, and then change it to a seven because we have seven ones left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Please kiss your brains if your prediction was correct. Good job. I have some smarties today. You guys are getting good at this. All right. Last but not least, we have our money. And I asked you to count up and add how much money we have so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first count the dimes that we have. I'm just going to move them together just for the moment so we can count them a little bit easier. And then we're also going to then count all the nickels that we have and then the pennies. Now we're going to review our poems first. That way we remember how much each coin is worth to help us to add them all up. Dime, 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 little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. Nickel, 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 thick and fat, you're worth five cents. I know that. And the last one, penny. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper brown and worth one cent. All right, so those poems will help us to count the money. Here we have the dimes. We're going to count them first because they're worth the most. Ten cents. Ten, twenty. Now we have to count up by fives with the nickels. Starting from twenty. Twenty-five. 30, 35, and we're going to stop. Now we have to count up by ones with from 35 because the pennies are worth one cent. So after 35, the next number is 36, 37, 38. So, so far we have 38 cents saved up. Wow. I wonder what you're going to spend your money on today. All right. Now we have to, 
Uh-oh, am I doing this right? Yep, okay, I'm just making sure I put them back in the right spots. All right, so we have 38 cents here. Now what I'm gonna do is zoom in for our spinner. Move this out of the way. All right, you wanna make a quick prediction what you think we're gonna land on? I wonder if anybody's gonna be predicting right. All right, I hope we get some big money here. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, another different one here. All right, let's look at these coins. We have two pennies and then we have one nickel. So I'm gonna scroll on over and zoom out. And I'm going to put that one nickel in for today. And then I'm gonna add the two pennies here. I'm gonna put one on heads and one on tails. All right, so boys and girls, what is a nickel worth? Five cents, very good. What are pennies worth? One cent, excellent. All right, so we're gonna start with the nickel because that's worth the most. All right, so we have five cents, and we count up by ones, six, seven. So our total today is seven cents. I am going to change the color because we already used green yesterday. So we're gonna go with blue today. And let me move this out of the way. So I'm gonna put a seven here for seven cents. All right, boys and girls, today, not only do I want you to try to add up the coins to see how much money we have in all, but I also want you to talk to your parents about which day it was, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or today, Thursday, which day we collected the most money and also which day we collected the least money. Don't just look at the total number of coins there because that might trick you. We're looking at the total amount of money. All right, math rock stars, I hope you have a wonderful day today, and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Don't forget, rock on. Bye.